When people ask me why we moved here, I often uh, jokingly say it's because my husband wanted a garage for his car and of course he wanted to be able to garden and I think he's managed to uh, accomplish that. One of his uh, hobbies has been daylilies. Usually about this time of year the garden is ablaze with different colors of daylilies. It's pretty any time of the year, even in the winter, the dead of winter, the tall grasses that are brown, they still look pretty. And the nandina along the fence are a bright red. And it's, it's an attractive backyard. I think you've done a wonderful job with it. Well, thank you. <laughs>
I have a huge pantry that goes across the whole back wall. Just everything you could want in a kitchen, I think, is there. We also enjoy the fact that we have four bedrooms, but we're only two adults. So we're able to convert one of those bedrooms into a nice library sitting room, and the other one into a room that my husband uses for his various activities. The neighborhood has really changed since we've moved in here. When we originally moved in, there were a lot of young families. And then for five years, there wasn't a kid on the block. Now we've had a big turnover, and I think we have enough kids to fill a school bus. It's a very vibrant neighborhood. It's a friendly neighborhood. It's a very safe neighborhood. And because it's a cul-de-sac, I mean, the kids can play out on the street, which they do. They all love to play football and soccer and all kinds of games. We also have a master bedroom suite and one of the really, really nice features there is we redid the bathroom. We have a heated floor, we have dual showers, glass, and again, plenty of natural light that's coming in through the window but filtered with a bamboo shade. And then we have a deck off the master bedroom. There's no question that we, we love this house, but we're both retiring. And since we travel a lot, we decided we might as well go a little closer to where all the cruise ships are leaving. And so we'll be relocating to Florida. And yes, I'll miss the house, but I have a very positive feeling that whatever family is going to live here is going to be very, very happy.